Hello space fans and welcome to Your Sky Tonight for July 31st, 2017. I'm Tony Darnell from DeepAstronomy.Space. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the moon, if for no other reason than, well, it's the brightest thing up tonight. If we go outside between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Eastern Time in the Northern Hemisphere, we will see the moon nestled between the planet Saturn on the left or toward the east and Jupiter on the right or toward the west. And remember the last time I told you that all of these bodies, the planets, the moon, and the sun, all follow along a line called the ecliptic. And this is the plane of our solar system. Now well, tonight, the moon is in something called a waxing gibbous phase. Waxing means that each night, as each night passes, more and more of the lunar disk becomes illuminated by the light from the sun. Gibbous means that more than half of that disk is, is being illuminated. So a waxing gibbous means that each night, as each night of this week passes, more and more of the lunar surface will become lit up. Tomorrow night will be more than tonight. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday will each have successive amounts of increased brightness until we get to a full moon where the entire disk is illuminated by the sun's rays. Now how this works and how much of the sun or the moon is illuminated is dependent entirely on the geometry of the Earth-Moon-Sun system. But each night, as we go up this week, it will increase in illumination. Also each night, if we go out at the same time every single night, we will notice that the moon is further and further east. It rises later and later each night this week until we have to go out much later at night to be able to see it. At 9.30, between 9.30 and 10 o'clock, it won't be visible uh, later in, in, in about another 9 or 10 days. So the behavior of the moon over the course of the next week or so will be that it will increase in brightness as more of the disk becomes illuminated and it will, it will slowly travel toward the eastern sky if we go out at the same time each night. Now if you look at the moon through a pair of binoculars, what you will see is that you'll see light regions, very bright regions of the disk, and you'll see dark splotches. Those dark splotches are called maria, and they are large, dark, basaltic plains which were formed by ancient volcanic eruptions on the moon. And they were called maria, which is Greek for seas, because the ancients, when they looked up, thought they might be bodies of water. So that is the moon this week, space fans. I hope you'll take some time to go out and observe one of the brightest things up in the sky tonight. It will increase in brightness each day and it will set later and later also, if you go out at the same time. Well, that's it for tonight, space fans. Thank you all for listening, and as always, keep looking up.